The spinal cord is as smart as the brain. That's the new knowledge. So what we do with the stimulator is keep, we've figured out, we've, it took us a long time, but we figured out where, how to excite the spinal cord to stand or move the ankle or do that. And so what we surprisingly observed after the end of this three months training was that, you know, he was able to stand independently even without stimulation. And we haven't, you know, we didn't see this before with any other uh, participant. I was uh, leaving the gym uh, on a motorcycle accident, just a normal day. And uh, yeah, it was just an accident. So um, survived a, a hit from a vehicle and uh, broke my C67. And uh, yeah, just it's a miracle to still be alive now that I, like I'm on the road to, you know, almost finding a way to overcome paralysis, you know, and and we we seen it and proved it. So it's just uh, I'm just happy to be where I'm at right now, um, and I just you know thank, thank really thankful to be part of this research. It's it's uh, truly like a a dream come true for somebody that's been through what I've been through, you know. Regain, um, yeah, like they said, I'm, I'm able to achieve standing uh, without the stimulator, you know, for so much before fatigue, uh, be able to balance, you know, both sides independently, you know, move forward, move backwards, left to right. It's just a moment of uh, hope, you know, hope. So it's like, not just for myself, but hope for the whole spinal cord injury world, you know, and uh, what we've been doing this while we first started all this, and uh, and it's just uh, it kind of gives you the vision of the future, of what can be you know what's next you know.